Hi everyone, so this is an eye review for Yarden. So what we have here is, uh, I believe we have a true brown eye. Um, well, because I don't really see any blue in it. I would be very surprised if it's a true blue eye because it means that it has that high level of toxicity on top. And I just don't think that's realistic because we're not seeing any blue going through it. Um, we do see a darker outline of the eye, which is the skin ring, and it makes sense because it looks like there is a lot of lymph in the eye, so obviously if you have a lot of lymph in your body, your, fit, your kidneys are not filtering as well, your adrenals are not working as well, and therefore the, kidneys have, or the skin has to take on the job of the kidneys to help them out. Um, how I can tell that there is a lot of lymph is look at the coloring of the eye. We can see that in certain parts it's light brown, in certain parts it's dark brown, in certain type of parts it's almost orange. Um, all of these things are lymph that's stuck, basically. Um, we need to eliminate it. And, I mean, um, what I would suggest here is I would suggest a, a pretty heavy detox. Because even if we can see that around the pupil... Uh, which is the GI tract, look at all the lacunas or all the holes in the iris. That means that the system is deteriorating and it's overwhelmed with lymph. Um, so you want to, as much as possible, try to detox to help the situation out, not make it worse, you know? So um, as you start to do this, the eye will take a more uniform color. Again, I can't guarantee you that it's not a blue because it, the, it, the lymph on top of it is pretty heavy. But I, I would be surprised if it was blue, honestly. I, I do think it's brown, but it's going to be a uniform color brown. You will also see after a while that st some of these lacunas are going to start closing up and you will start to feel better. Um, generally speaking, I mean, this is pretty heavy congestion. So it means that you haven't been eating too well and your system has been acidic. Um... It's not to the stage where it's brown around the iris, so that means that your GI tract, although not so good, it's not really, really bad, like, you know, I see a lot of the time. Even in my case, it's, it's pretty bad what I started out with. Um, so what I would suggest is just to start cleaning it out and keep track of how your eye is changing. If you, see, if you start to see some blue in it, you'll know that it's a blue eye. As far as from this picture, I, I would think that this is probably uh, a brown eye. I'm sure people uh, will weigh on it um, below this video. So check out the comments, see what people say, what their opinion is, because the more opinion we have on these things, the better, you know. Um, and, you know, I'm only one person. I'm not always right. And that's why I like to say my thought process is in the video. So then somebody, if I'm wrong, then somebody can correct me or uh, agree with me. But, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I would I would be surprised to be honest if this is blue eye. Also, the way you can tell is because I don't know you, uh, I don't know what your diet is like. If your diet is not so bad, then it, it it's a true brown eye. If your diet has been really bad up to this point, then you might have a blue eye. So that's another way to tell because if there's more lymph than I think it is, then there might be blue underneath. Um, your eye is right on the cusp there, right in the middle where it, it could be either way because it is so light in color. The, it, usually uh, true brown eyes are a little bit darker in color general, which, which tells me there's a lot of lymph and it's hard for me to know what's underneath it. So yeah, so as you start to detox again, you can watch my other videos for detox, but basically fruit, fruit, fruit and more fruit. Um, I find that water, uh, like fasting and all of this kind of stuff, doesn't really help clean out the system at all that well. You do need fruit or green drinks to push it through. Um, I'm not a huge fan of uh, green drinks as, you know, like continuously big part of the diet. Um, I would prefer to see fruits because our bodies are more designed to process fruits than they are to process green drinks. But I know green drinks help move lymph as well. So it is something worth looking into and also herbs, uh, specific herbs to uh, help the lymph system. There's, I mean, if you go to a Dr. Morris's uh, store, you can see that there's specific um, lymphatic herbs that are meant to kind of help you move this along but you know I wouldn't do too much too fast because like I say like a lot of times people will experience skin issues or other things when lymph is trying to basically get out of 
every area of your body really fast, so it might be too much too fast. Um, take it easy. Slowly start to eat more fruits. Incorporate one smoothie into every day, then do two smoothies, and, and just try to do more and more. Um, I would wait a week before doing more than you're doing. See how your body reacts, add more. See how your body reacts, add a little more again. And just keep going like that. Anyways, that was the review. If you guys have any eye questions, uh, you can send me your eye pictures. I'll link it all down below so you can just copy and paste. And I'll see you in the next video. Um, I gotta say that quality of the eyes that I'm receiving, like the clarity of the picture has, has improved tremendously. Guys, please keep it up because I can only give you as good of a review as the picture you send me. If the picture is blurry, I can't tell and then I can not tell you all the information that I could have and my information may be wrong because I'm seeing a blurry picture. So try your best and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.